Well, depending on the tides, there is a beautiful sandbar oasis in the Elizabeth River off the coast of Portsmouth. The problem is, it's federal property, and it's against the law for civilians to use this as a beach. My co-anchor Regina Mobley joins us now from her home with this story. Regina? Well, Stephanie, this strip of beach is actually part of Craney Island, that federal facility that dates back to 1812. Boaters, jet skiers, and those who love the water set up these temporary camps for the spot they truly enjoy. Location, location, location. Leave it to realtor Vic Bozak to find the perfect beach oasis. One of the greatest things about where we live is our proximity to water. You know, we've been able to discover parts of Hampton Roads that, that folks typically don't get to see. And the feds want to keep it that way. This strip of paradise in the Elizabeth River is off limits to the public. Beginning this month, the Army Corps of Engineers, with backup from Virginia Marine Police and the Coast Guard, is cracking down on civilians on this pop-up beach. It is an active construction site. Um, everything here that we're on is at, was dredged or removed from uh, the channel as sediments. And officials say the sand is not safe. Since this is dredged material, it may contain glass or other debris. Humans also pose a threat to 170 bird species. Any human disturbance like that will actually displace them and, and could prevent them from having successful nests. The party may now be over. Bozak says most voters respect the water and will comply. Knowing that now that it's part of federal land and that it is against the rules to be there, you won't find me stepping foot there any time in the future. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers is not going to immediately throw the book at violators. This is an educational period and it's working on installing some signs to warn voters about trespassing. In Virginia Beach, Virginia Mobley, 10 on your side.